I'm sitting in the cockpit of a G5 and I just got done installing a trim air valve and I'd like to show you the responsiveness of a new trim air valve to an old trim air valve. I pulled up the environmental control system subnoctic page and basically I've taken the cockpit trim air valve and I've put into manual mode and the aft cabin I've put into manual mode. The forward cabin is still in auto mode as you can see there. So what we're doing is we're going to compare essentially these two temperatures right here the the 40 and the 40. I've turned the knobs all the way to the cold position so the trim air valves are in the full closed position. Now it takes muscle air to get the trim air valve to the open position so we're going to have a race between these two valves right here and these two temperatures. Okay and here is the aft cabin knob is in the straight up position 12 o'clock and there is the cockpit in the straight up position. You can see that they both started to respond by going up in temperature but yet the cockpit which is the new trim air valve is going up much much faster. So that muscle air on the trim air valve is now being routed to open the valve and this valve is opening much faster. This one still looks like it's coming up but it's kind of struggling a little bit. It's not opening up as fast. All right, there you have it from the cockpit of a G5. So they've really improved the Dash 4s. The old valves are Dash 1s. Uh, they've been in the aircraft for quite a while, so I would imagine between the age and the Dash 1, that, that makes all the difference in the world compared to the new Dash 4s. All right, you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.